I showed you how to download information from a website and put it into a structured format using import IO. Now I want to show you how to create a map with that data using Google Fusion tables. So here we are, I've opened up the data set that we pulled in in the previous video. Uh, and you can see it has lots of different uh, quality ratings from the National Health Services here in the UK of various hospitals. And what I want to do today is to show you how to create a map of the hospitals based on the ratings of how recommended they are by staff. So the first thing that I want to do, there are a couple of ways of doing this, but I'm going to go ahead and download the data as a CSV file. You can save it as whatever you want to. For example, I'm going to call it hospital data and just go ahead and save it. So once we've downloaded that CSV file, that means it's a comma separated file. What I've done is I've gone ahead and I have uploaded it into a Google spreadsheet. Now the there are a couple of different ways that we can actually do the different pins on the map. Uh, one of them is to create buckets based on the actual rating itself, but the way that they have done this rating doesn't mean that there's a clear breakoff point, so it's not as if above 75% it's doing okay. Uh, it's close to that, but it's not quite. So what I've done is I've actually pulled it based on the indicator image. So there were three images that we remember seeing back in the data. There was the OK, there was a tick mark, meaning that it was good, uh, and there was an exclamation point, meaning that there were problems. So I'll search for those three words. We've got OK as the image, we've got the exclamation point here um, as an image, or we have the um, tick mark image. So I was searching for those different. And I've created a little formula here uh, that is going to actually help us to replace the different pins that are sh uh, showing on the map. Now, Google actually has several different ones that you can use. So you can see that there are different place mark icons. And in fact, they've got a map that has all of them here. Uh, and so what I've just done is I've pulled the names there, small red, yellow, small yellow, and then we see we've got uh, measle gray. I'm not quite sure why it's measle, but there we are. Um, of course, you could pick any of these different ones depending on what you're looking for, uh, including a red hospital sign or a green one, which is a pharmacy sign, which is why I chose not to actually um, use that one. All right, so once we've got that, uh, you see that the formula that we've done is just say, if this is a number we're looking for in this cell, say, does this contain the word OK? If that is true, say that we're going to have the small yellow icon. If it contains the word tick, we're going to give it a small green icon. If it is an exclamation point, which means that it's bad, we're going to give it a small red icon. And otherwise, if there's no information there, we're going to give it measle gray. One thing that you might not know about Google Spreadsheets, I've already filled down, so I'll just go ahead and uh, select all of that and delete it. Uh, but in order to fill out an entire formula for an entire uh, set of data, if you just double click that sign, it will fill that information in right away. Okay, so we've got that. We have this saved as NHS hospital data. Where do we go from here? Let's start by creating a new Fusion table. Now, this won't be a default option on your Google Drive, but you can add it by going to a link that I'll provide below. So we're going to create a new Fusion table, and we're going to just go ahead and pull it from existing data in our Google Drive. So in this case, the NHS hospital data CSV. Right, it's pulled all of that in. We do have column names in row one, so we'll click next. Uh, we can call this NHS hospital data, sure, why not? Uh, I'm going to not allow export for now. We can attribute the data to the NHS. Um, we could even put a link into that initial page. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it for the time being. Right, now you can see that all of our information is there. We have two columns that are highlighted yellow, which means that they have geocoded information. We have the name of the hospital, or we have the hospital postcode. In this case, it's already created a map based on hospital name, but that's not gonna be quite as accurate as the postcode. One of the great things about the, the UK is that each of those postcodes are unique places. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to select that it's a hospital postcode and 
ask it to begin geocoding. So as we can see, we have all of the hospitals mapped. And you'll see that that was quite good data because there was 0% ambiguity. Um, one of the things that we want to change here is this just gives us a map of all of the hospitals in England, really. Uh, but we want to see how well they are doing. So let's go ahead and change the feature styles. Now, one of the things that I had suggested before was dividing it into, say, three buckets uh, from the column recommended by staff and saying up to, say, 50 would be a green, um, between 50 and, let's say, 75% could be a yellow or an amber. Uh, and let's see, let's do this the other way, rather, small red, and then we'll have anything above that where there's high staff recommendation rate could be green. That already gives us a good uh, clear indication. However, that doesn't quite gel with the methodology that they used. So the other way that we can do this is to actually say that there's a specific column, and this is uh, what we have done, is we have added in recommended by staff alt, we said was the column, uh, and that actually specified. And you can see that that changes things just a little bit in terms of what the various labels are. And you can see that it introduces the gray on ones where we, hospitals where we don't have information. Now, what I've done is I've just clicked that, and you can see that the info window is a little bit scary and not exactly what we're looking for. So we can change the information window, and let's just think a little bit about what we actually want on here first. We don't need any of that. We can use the hospital name. Uh, sure, let's keep the hospital website in there for now. The hospital address, uh, the postcode is redundant. It's part of the hospital address. Uh, maybe let's do the hospital telephone just in case. And then what we're showing here is quite simply the percent of recommended by staff. Now, we want to edit this a little bit. So let's flip over to custom and say, for example, that we can just do the um, website address as part of the name of the hospital. And so we do an a ref equals And right now we have that as a hospital name. We don't need that as a label. Maybe what we can do is we can say that that should be a big header. And we've put that in as an H3. Uh, we can delete this one. Uh, we can still keep the hospital address and the hospital telephone like it currently is. Now, one of the things we have here is percent, let's make, give this a proper label, percent of staff who recommend hospital. And right now it's only saved as a number, so let's go ahead and add the percentage sign. All right. So one of the things that we can see is that that's too short. So why don't we go ahead and uh, edit the height of that. And what I'll do is I flip back to automatic. I'm copying the initial uh, formula that was there that just said that the style is a certain height, uh, a certain number of m's long. I'm going to change that to 15 just so that we we'll make sure that that's all right. And it also gives it a scroll bar on the right if there uh, is too short. But that looks OK, actually. Uh, so we can see that there's that, but let's go ahead and add the image of the button that we had there before. Again, I've flipped over to the automatic and we see that it has a line there on the image for the exclamation point or the tick or the um, OK. And let's put that on a new line by introducing uh, open caret br closed for a line break and then I'm going to paste that in. And let's hit save and there we are, we can see that the image now appears as part of that. And we've got a great map of all of the different hospitals based on what percentage of staff actually recommend attending them in England. There. One of the great things about using Google Fusion tables is that actually you can publish this straight to the web. 
So one of the things that we need to do, first of all, is to share this and say that instead of it being private, anyone with the link can go ahead and see that. I'm going to save it as that. Select done. And now when we publish the map, we can actually go ahead and give this uh, a particular size. I'm going to just say 1200 by 800. And we can either publish it with HTML or we can publish it um, this way, or we can publish it as an iframe, or we can just go ahead and publish it as a link. And there you go. Here you can see all of the hospitals that are and are not recommended by their staff.